I'm delighted to welcome award-winning Sarah Hillary to the author's studio. She's a writer I much admire. I enjoy reading her work greatly. She writes with terrific insight and with a great deal of human emotion. Read. Read widely, critically, everything. Not just fiction, non-fiction, textbooks, newspapers, diaries, everything. Oh, everywhere. So um, in cafes, I really like white noise. I like people around me. I don't um, like the lure of, of chores to do if I'm writing at home, that suddenly the kitchen floor looks really dirty and wouldn't it be a great time to tidy the cupboards. And So they don't let you clean the floors in cafes, I've discovered. So it's great. You, they just give you coffee and you can work. Uh, the Sherlock Holmes books, um, P.G. Woodhouse, um, Patricia Highsmith, but she came much later. Um, Dick Francis, Len Dayton, um, so anything that my dad was reading, so spy thrillers were a big thing in the house, he probably is the one who got me onto crime, but I also read a lot of um, sort of Regency romance fiction when I was a girl, and, and some of that, oddly enough, is, has got crime elements in it as well, so um, hard to pin it down, too many, too many to <laughs> mention. binge-watching DVD uh, box sets um, and it, they don't even have to be particularly good or gripping, just getting hooked on something and uh, carving out that time to be allowed to watch um, the TV. I used to think it was awful that I should either be writing or reading books as a writer but um, a friend of mine pointed out you can learn a lot about structure and plots and uh, series arcs and things from watching TV so that's my excuse but really it's a guilty pleasure. No, I really don't. I just open up the MacBook and, and start um, because I find if I, anything else could lead into procrastination. So I just need to dive straight in and get it, get it started, get it underway. Always, yes, annoyingly since I was tiny. Um, I used to write the most awful spy stories for my little sister when we were both really young um, and um, read them to her. She was my early audience, so that's when I knew that I wanted to not just write but to be a published author so I'd have a readers, readership and I could talk to them about, about my characters and stuff. So, yeah. I really don't. Um, terrible confession. I just dive straight in and, and write it. I don't do plotting and I thought until really quite recently that I was cheating and somehow had got lucky and managed to do a couple of books and no one had noticed and no one had gone, so how did you plot these books? And I'd have nothing to say. Um, but then I discovered lots of other writers work the same way, including Ian Rankin, so I feel less like I'm cheating and, and doing it wrong. It's usually where do your ideas come from? I think it's the same for most most writers and it's just such a on the one hand it's it's a tiny question on the other hand it's so huge because everywhere is the answer and um, the person that asks you that question will give you an idea just by the fact that they've asked it or the manner in which they've asked it so um, but no it just everywhere is the answer so it's not something you can answer very um, cleverly or smartly You've just given me a brilliant idea, Peter, and I'm going to go away and write it now in a cafe. <laughs> a lot of noise around me. <laughs> well, I might just clean the floors instead. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sarah Hillary, for coming to the author's studio, and I'm very excited to have many more authors to share with you.